What's up, young readers? I hope everybody's having a great week. This week's book is Ella's Night Lights. It's about friendship. I hope you guys have good friends in your lives, and I hope you enjoy this book. I'll see you soon. Today's author is Lucy Fleming. Ella's Night Lights. Nestled in a little nook of an old oak tree lived a teeny tiny girl. Her name was Ella. Ella had two fluffy antennae and soft, feathery wings, just like a moth. Because Ella's wings were so delicate and fine, she couldn't go out in the sun. Ella's biggest wish was to see the sunrise. When Ella awoke at night and the moon was high, she flittered and flew, collecting light. She was drawn to everything that glowed and glimmered in the darkness. She chased after twinkling starlight, flickering lamplight, and even little pebbles that reflected the light of the moon. Then Ella would share the light she gathered with anyone who needed help finding their way in the dark. And every time she shared her light, Ella would whisper, Here's some bright light. Here's a night light. A little ray to calm your fright. There was always someone who needed a little bit of light. One evening, Ella spotted a fox all alone. He looked cold and tired. Here, Ella said to the fox, whose name was Sable. Here's some bright light. Here's a night light, a little ray to calm your fright. After that, Ella and Sable searched for shimmering light together. And Sable always made sure that Ella was back home before the sun rose. On another night that winter, as Ella flew through the swirling snow, she saw a little owl who was scared and all alone in the high branches of a tree. Don't be afraid, Ella said to the owl whose name was Luna. Take my hand. Here's some bright light. Here's a night light. A little ray to calm your fright. Ella's nights were now filled with fun. Luna, Sable, and Ella drew twinkling pictures, made flickering shadow puppets, and played together beneath the bright moon. But when the sun would begin to rise, the fun would end. And Ella had to return home to her shady little nook. Nestled beside Ella, Sable thought about how Ella always shared her light, how she helped creatures both big and little. So Sable gathered all of Ella's forest friends and they came up with a plan. Remembering how Ella had helped her fly fearlessly, Luna soared higher than ever before and sliced a piece of the starry sky. While Ella slept during the day, her friends secretly snipped and stitched, gathered and glued. At the end of a busy night, just before the shining start of a new day, Ella's friends found her as she was heading home. Finally, the moment had arrived to show Ella what they'd been making. Come with us, everyone said excitedly. Ella could hardly believe her eyes. They had made a den of darkness that would protect her wings from the sun. Ella was able to watch the dazzling sunrise for the first time. 
Wow, such bright light, the morning light. What a wish come true to see this sight. From then on, Ella and her friends shared every bright day together.